This is the world's first soldering iron that you heat up in the microwave. Unlike this soldering iron, it's cordless, so there's no cables. And unlike this gas soldering iron, well, there is no gas that you can forget to buy. And there's no battery that you can forget to charge. It's always ready and you heat it up by simply sticking it in the microwave. But why would anyone in the world want a microwavable soldering iron? Well, that's exactly what I asked myself around six years ago when I first came up with this idea. I was working in the entrance of my apartment. I needed to do some soldering on this phone or intercom system. You know, the one where people ring downstairs so you can open the door for them. Who's that? Who am I? This is central control. I wanted to add a remote control so I would be able to open the door while I'm outside instead of using a key. Well, actually it was at my old apartment, but I can't show it to you because I don't live there anymore. I have a key. It was my mother's in-law apartment and it was here where I needed to do the soldering, but there was nowhere to plug in the soldering iron. There are no sockets in this entrance. The nearest socket was in the kitchen, but I didn't even have a proper extension cord. Because I was already experimenting with microwave metal melting and silicon carbide, I thought maybe I should try to make a microwaveable soldering iron. I ended up shelving the idea because I thought it was ridiculous. But as the years passed, I kept thinking about it over and over again, and somehow it didn't seem ridiculous anymore. So here we are today. This soldering iron is a working prototype, not necessarily the final product. And here is where I need you. Would you buy one if you could? No, I'm not planning to sell one. I'm just asking because if this video gets enough attention and people are actually interested in this kind of product, well, I'm sure somebody in a few months time will start selling a better version of the soldering iron on AliExpress. I don't think I'm crazy. I can't be the only one who sees potential in it. I don't think it will shake the future of electronics industry but I do believe there's a small group of people that could find this kind of product useful. In other words, I'm not going to pitch it on Dragon's Den. Hi Dragons, this is the world's first microwaveable soldering iron. I'll tell you where I'm at, Danny. This investment sounds as painful as a dog stepping on a bee. For that reason, I'm out. So this is how this video will go. First, I'll show you how to make it. Then I'll demonstrate how it works. And then I'll speak about who I think this is for and who will not find it very useful. And I will also show you another microwaveable gadget that I made towards the end of the video. You can download the files needed from printables. You'll need one of these 900M soldering iron tips. I measured 10 grams of fine grit silicon carbide. You actually need less, but it's easier that way. And I added approximately 10% of sodium silicate and I mixed it all together. Then we just filled the mold and used that plunger tool to Press silicon carbide nice and tight. You can also use some kind of hammer or a wooden stick to press it down even better. Then we'll freeze it, open the mold and we'll bake it in the oven or an air fryer. You don't need to heat it up for too long. 15 minutes is usually enough. You will need a protective sleeve, 
but don't worry you don't need to make one out of the metal I did it as a test piece and it's actually not great metal is not a good material for the soldering iron so we're gonna print it but because one of the reasons why people watch my videos is metal melting let me quickly show you how I made it That's how I made it. Unfortunately, it was heating up too much because of the microwave, so I had to look for alternatives, which is even better because that way more people can make it if they want. I'm printing it in resin because I don't have any high temperature resistant filaments. I mostly use PLA and PETG and they're not great for the soldering iron. I'm using a Sariatech sculpt resin it's a high temperature resistant resin this is a gray one they also have a white one which can withstand even higher temperatures but obviously i haven't tried it so it's the next day because it was getting kind of dark last night as it was raining so i needed more light it's still cloudy today but it is what it is i'm gonna wash and cure the print for transparency reasons i bought this 3d printer myself it's elgus mars 5 ultra resin 3d printer but the wash and cure station was sent to me to try it out and the way i can best describe it it's like my smartwatch my brother gave it to me and i didn't know i needed one but now i've been using it for over a year and I can't live without it, to be honest. If it would break, I would replace it like this. And I can say the same about this wash and cure station. I didn't know that I needed one. I was offered to try it out. I said, okay. And now, oh, it's very good. It makes cleaning 3D prints way easier. So there are a few things you'll need. Obviously the heating element, the sleeve and the cap. The cap I printed in PLA because I wanted, you know, this color contrast. You can print it in resin if you want. Then there's a captain tape. Captain tape is a high temperature resistant tape. This is not an ordinary scotch tape. And the important thing, ceramic fiber sheet. Not this big, you need just a little Piece. Now, when working with ceramic fiber, you will want to wear gloves and a respirator.
There is one more thing I suggest you do, but I'll show it to you a little bit later. First, let's try it out. So how long does it take to heat it up? Well, that depends on your microwave. I suggest that you start with 15 seconds and then keep experimenting, adding five second intervals. It's very easy to overheat it, so you have to be careful. Because I already have done some tests, I haven't done it, I haven't tried out with this exact soldering iron and this exact microwave, but I believe it should be similar. So I'll start with 30 seconds and if, if it's not gonna be hot enough, then I'll increase the time. If I can figure out how does it work, okay? Ooh, I need a solder. Quick! The reason our soldering iron is heating up in the microwave is because silicon carbide absorbs microwaves and turns them into heat. I'm back. Okay, that was 30 seconds. Is that enough? Let's see. Ooh. Let's try to solder it. Ooh, let's use the handle. Let's use the handle first. This is not soldering tutorial. I have no idea what I'm doing. Whew. Breathing fumes. But as you can see, 30 seconds, that's all it took. Too. Ah, yeah, let's do the best soldering job in the world. <sighs> 30 seconds in the microwave. Ceramic fiber is kind of nasty material. You don't want to make ceramic fiber dust unnecessary and breathe it in. So, what we can do is cover the top part of exposed ceramic fiber with, well, there are probably different materials that you can use. I'm going to use some boric acid. I'm just going to have hot water and some boric acid. I'll dissolve it. Okay, I didn't dissolve it all because I added quite a lot. And just kind of and then you just wet the ceramic fiber the reason i'm using boric acid because i have it there are other products that you can use so when you microwave and dry that ceramic fiber boric acid will kind of harden it and lock some of that dust inside and you'll want to wear a respirator for the first couple of times you use the soldering iron the soldering iron is made for quick jobs and light soldering, not your heavy duty work. The soldering iron is great for people who want to add another cordless soldering iron to their collection. It's great because it doesn't need any gas or battery power for you to operate it. But you might say, Denny, I won't be doing any soldering in my kitchen. Well, you don't have to, just microwave it for a little bit longer to raise the temperature and that will give you time to go to another room. Let me show you another microwavable gadget that I made and some people might find it even more interesting or useful than the soldering iron. It works great and it's brilliant. Just like the sponsor of today's video. If you enjoy learning, check out Brilliant. Brilliant offers wide range of fun and interactive lessons on topics like programming, engineering, AI, physics, and more. With interactive game-like presentations on different topics, learning feels more like playing.
a little bit of learning each day adds up. Keeping your mind as sharp and bright as this crucible. To try Brilliant free for 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash shake the future. Or alternatively, you can scan the QR code or check the link in description.